Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing everything that I got from the Wet n Wild Fergie collection. This was in my Walgreens, so I'm sure you'll be able to find it in your nearest Walgreens as well. This is not sold out. I kind of got it when it first came out, and plus they had a stack of coupons, like a dollar off. So I like, kind of took a bunch of those and used them towards my purchase. But they let me, so I mean, whatever. So first, I'm going to show you the two lipsticks I got, because I'm not going to make this long at all. I always say that, but I do. The first one I got... I only got two. This one is Pagan Angel, and this is A042. My hands are filthy. What a surprise. The first lipstick I'm going to show you is called Pagan Angel, and it's the black one. I don't know how good this one is. I didn't even swatch it, so this will be my first time swatching it. And this is what that looks like. It's not really bold at all because, you know, I had to really, 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 really dig into my hand to get it this dark. So with this type of color, I would definitely use like a black lip liner or a black eyeliner to line your lips before putting this on. The other lipstick I have I'm going to show you is Bebo Love or Bebot Love. It's just a nude color. That one's extremely pigmented. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's like a nude pink. That's all the lip products I got from the collection. I'm now going to show you the three eye palettes I got. I've used two of them in tutorials. This is the Maldives Sky Palette. It has the most gorgeous bright colors in it. If you have not seen a tutorial for the look I have using this, I will have some type of annotation right here that you can click and go to. But I probably have it again in the information box in case you don't want to click right now and you want to finish the video. But these are beautiful colors. I'm not going to swatch that one just because I have a tutorial using it already and I used all the colors. Except maybe the center one. I guess I'll show you that one. And it's very similar to like Shell eyeshadow from MAC. Because it has a little bit of a purple in it. It's not quite all the way gray. So again, if you want to see a tutorial using this look, I've done it already. And it's in the information box. The second palette I got was called Metropolitan Lights. Why do I say lights all the time? It's called Metropolitan Nights, and it looks like this. I also did a tutorial using this one. I'll include an annotation right here. And also, I'll have a link to the tutorial in the information box. That's what these colors look like. And again, I used all of the colors in this palette, except for maybe the white one. I'll swatch that one. And it's kind of more like a silvery white, kind of like Crystal Avalanche by MAC. The third palette I got, which I have not done a tutorial on yet, this one is called Desert Festival. Really pretty colors in here. I will swatch all of these for you because I doubt I would have filmed a tutorial by the time this is posted, so I'll go ahead and swatch all of these. And as you can see along the bottom row of my hand, how gorgeous those colors are. And if you're wondering how I started in the palette, I started kind of clockwise. I started with this color. And I went kind of clockwise, and then I did the last one in the middle, which is this one right here. This color is very similar to Red Brick by MAC. The one next to it is kind of a toned down version of Naked Lunch by MAC. The one next to it is kind of like Paradisco on my skin. Um, that's how it looks on my skin. This is kind of like... I don't even know. <laughs> it's really not similar to anything I know from MAC. Uh, that I could think of. This one is similar to Mystery or also Brune eyeshadow by MAC. Yeah. I'll go back to the other palettes too and tell you what I think those are similar to. If you can't afford MAC, then you could still get these and still have the same colors pretty much. So back to the Maldives Sky Palette. This one, I would say, let me pull up my palette real quick. This one is like aquadisiac, kind of. Kind of. That's really pushing it. This one is similar to Parfait Amour. And these are not dupes. I did not say dupes. But they're pretty similar to the colors I'm mentioning. This one is similar to Submarine. Maybe even Fresh Water. Maybe. And this one is like Cool Heat or Big Tea or any of those teal colors that MAC released. And those were limited edition. Or just gets limited edition. But yeah. The center one is, like I said, like Shell eyeshadow by MAC, or also Illegal Cargo, except it's a more matte version. Metropolitan Nights palette. This color, like I said, is like Crystal Avalanche. This one is like Goldmine. This one is really not similar to anything I can think of. And also, 
Why does this have hair in the middle? It's disgusting. This one, it's really not close to anything except for that limited edition color that came out a while back. It's kind of similar to Modern Pewter. If this was the extra dimension eyeshadow. It is kind of similar to that. So if you missed that on that, then make sure you pick this up. The center color, I would say, is like a mix between Black Tide and Carmen. The last thing I got from the collection, since I've been rambling about Wind Wild dupes, or... I guess I could say, you could say the dupes for some of them, but you know, I'm just kind of giving you an idea of what they look like. The last thing I got was the Wet n Wild to Reflect Shimmer Palette. This is in Rose Golden Goddess. I wanted to get the darker one as well. I might go back and get it. I don't know yet. That looks like this. It kind of reminds me of the Mineralized Skin Finishes from MAC. I'm going to swatch this. I'm going to see if I can compare it to something I have already to see, to kind of give you an idea of what it's similar to. This is what that looks like. So, like the name, just like a rosy gold um, bronzing powder if you're a lighter skin tone or a highlighter if you're darker or a blush if you're in between. So I really couldn't find anything close to that in my collection. This is, um, the one in the middle is the Rose Golden Goddess. This is Brunette Mineralized Skin Finish. This is um, Honey Rose Magically Cool Liquid Powder. And this one is Golden Bronze iridescent powder which is not even close to that this one is the honey rose at the top i think i mixed those up that's honey rose this one is the golden bronze iridescent loose powder so i don't have anything similar to that so you can definitely pick that up if you wish i highly recommend this collection it's amazing they also have a, i think another eyeshadow palette that i was not interested in i think the colors are pretty boring in there then a lot more lipsticks i think like eight more because they had ten of those but the lip colors weren't that they weren't really very unique to me, but they have such a great texture. They're not as drying as the original Mega Last lipsticks, if you have those. Those were kind of drying a little bit, not too drying on me, but they were very dry. I, almost like a matte finish, but these are more like a satin creamy finish. So I really like the finish of those lipsticks. The eyeshadows are very pigmented. Some of them you have to work with, put them on top of a great base, but as long as you have patience and the proper brushes, then you shouldn't have a problem with that at all. Powder is not that unique to me, honestly. I mean, if you really want a product that's kind of similar to a mineralized skin finish, then I do recommend these. But this can easily be duped to me. I think that's it. Overall, I really like the collection. It was a nice collection that they released. If you want to see links to tutorials I've done so far using these palettes, feel free to check them out in the information box. And also check out videos that I posted prior to this one. That will be in the end of the video in an end slate, so I will talk to all of you soon. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, in this video I am finally filming my bond number 9 giveaway or contest. This is the one I'm giving away. I'm giving away Washington Square. This is a 3.4 or 3.3 fluid ounce, I'm sorry. And this is the full size. I'm not going to take it out of the package. 